oh my gosh, we made it. This is the final video in this new series, sharing full transparency around what it really takes to grow a successful business nine years in. So I kicked off 2020 with my brand new offering, having closed my membership the year before, the Live Big Lab. And I was so excited about this. It was basically like the culmination of five years of delivering group programs, masterminds, memberships, you know, all of that stuff. And really just bringing in the juicy stuff that we need and nothing else. Um, I got really clear who it was for. High vibe women who were ready to really claim them all they're meant for. Um, and I took like, the best bits from everything prior to this and created an activating and uplifting space for women to really step up in life and business. Um, truth bomb, everything that's happen happening for you right now is going to be of value to future you. I, I couldn't have created the lab without all those years of testing different offerings and being on my own journey and really discovering what worked, what worked for my clients, what worked for me. So trust that your journey is taking you somewhere incredible. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. So finding out like not only got what got results for my clients, but also what felt really good for me to deliver. And remember, the membership was created for my freedom lifestyle. The lab was all about connection and support on a really much deeper level, which is what I was craving. Um, so yeah, it was, it was an exciting time. Anyway, here's how the lab became a success. At the start of 2020, I made a very, very serious deal with myself. Commit to 12 whole months of staying focused on the lab. No detours, no excuses. Give the lab 12 months to become what it's here to be. 12 months, like really going all in on how to deliver it, how to launch it. Then I'm allowed to review. And I am proud to say that even though I wanted to deviate <laughs> from this deal that I made with myself many, many times, because I got all these great ideas that kept coming up, I stayed committed. And that is why the lab is the place it is today. Like 70% of members who join the 90 day accelerator end up staying in the graduate program because the system works and the community is freaking powerful too. Um, this wouldn't have happened if I'd gone off on tangents with all the ideas that I wanted to do, starting new things, not giving them chance to get traction. You know, it's hard, right? We've got all these great, exciting ideas, but I had to stay focused. It meant I had to say no to a lot of things and that isn't easy. So your truth bomb is you've got to get strict with yourself. <laughs> Don't get so easily distracted. Like if you give something 100% of your focus, it's way more likely to blow your mind with what's possible, then if you give five things, 20% focus each, right? So that's how I created a fully validated results-driven program. Um, and I can remember exactly 12 months after I closed the Wildly Successful Society. I just had a really great launch of the lab. And I had this little moment with myself knowing that, oh my gosh, like, because I had the courage a year ago, to trust in the vision that I, I could see about creating this, this community, which was much more deeply connected. That was my current reality. And it was, again, it was like a pinch me moment. So not only, you know, is the lab like my favorite way to support women ever, it's working, right? And this happened because I stayed committed and focused for 12 months to really work out how to make the lab transformational. I made a deal with myself, it was that important. <laughs> I had been experimenting and delivering group programs for five years. I'd been ex investing in my own support. So I knew which bits I wanted to pull into this offering. I was really aligned with my values and my mission. Um, and I had a system that worked. Like I've got a framework that I teach and I still use it myself again and again. It's how I quadrupled my business. It's, it's something, this framework is what I'm currently focused on to double my business again. Um, and I just, I let the lab become what it was meant to become. I didn't control it so much. That was really hard. Like it was massive lessons for me to do this last year, but I didn't mess with it, even though I wanted to. Also, it really helped because I had a coach keeping me focused and not, and not allowing me to mess with something that was working. <laughs> I also chose to show up last year every 90 days and do a really substantial launch. No questions asked. I just made the commitment. I showed up to myself and my business every 90 days. I'm going to host this coaching experience and that's going to be my launch pro process. I gave amazing value in my launches so people really kind of knew whether the lab was right for them or not. 
Um, so I'm really proud of the focus that I gave last year. And I'm really back in love with my business again after that little bump in the road. Um, truth bomb, you're going to get in your own way. And you're also going to get out of your own way. So even when things are validated, they're successful, they're working, you're still going to have doubts and you're still going to have fears. Just don't let them get in the way of you taking action. Like I never stopped. They didn't stop from my plan. Like they didn't deviate me from my plan. Yeah, I had to keep myself talking to all the time to stay focused. Um, and this is why all of my programs come with mindset strategies, because it's, it's normal to have thoughts about not being good enough or your programs not being good enough. Just don't believe everything that your mind tells you. All right, what else? Well, 2020 was the first year that the girl who loves to travel wasn't allowed to travel. <laughs> so I couldn't see all my besties around the world or couldn't see my family. Like the ways that I normally would fill my cup weren't available to me. And I really missed that connection. Um, super grateful to be in Spain, to have a business that feel, that lights me up, but missing a lot of that long haul stuff that travel and friends bring my soul, right? But in business terms, I was, quote unquote, living the dream. You know, I kept having my best ever launch. I kept, every time I opened the lab, I kept beating my last launches. It was like being on this roller coaster, like really full disclosure. I was so excited and then panicked about, oh my God, I'm not good enough. It's not good enough. And then 70% of the members would choose to stay for another round. Um, and I was, I was really attracting the right people to this powerful little community. And it was really amazing. I was having my best months financially. And, and as I say, like members just deciding, I'm not ready to let go of this tribe yet. I was buzzing in so many ways. And then my bubble got completely burst. Oh my God. Just after my um, launch in November last year, which was double my best financially. And I was, I was sat on the beach staring out to sea and literally saying to myself, um, you know, I'm so grateful to have such incredible women to work with. I love my life. I love my business. Like I was really trying to ground into like all that was going on, really sending out big old gratitude to the ocean. And then randomly, I remember I was sat there on the beach on my own and I checked my emails. And there it was. There was an email from a guy threatening legal action because he owns the trademark for Live Big and I'm not allowed to use it. Oh my God. I was like, the Live Big Mastermind, the Live Big Lab, the Live Big Movement, the Live Big Framework, all impacted. This was like my whole life and business philosophy. I even have the words Live Big tattooed on my foot. <laughs> it was a bit of a blow. <laughs> um, and I have talked about this before, so I won't dive into it, but we'll fast forward to now, current time. Meant for More has landed. And that is a registered trademark. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so it's really the end of an era. I want to let the next adventure begin. Like I feel like I've stepped into a completely new level, a different version of me. Productivity queen, business coach, founder of the Meant for More movement. Here we go. Where's it going to take us? Um, and I have personally used the Meant for More framework again and again and again to keep outgrowing my dreams. And it is simple, right? It's simple, but that does not mean it's easy. <laughs> this is why the lab exists, to support you whilst you take all that bold and brave action towards creating something better. So I will be opening up enrollment later this month to invite a few lovely legends to join us in the lab. But until then, come and join us for the online retreat. That is where I'm gonna be not holding back and just really diving in and taking you through the Meant for More framework. That's happening next week. Um, there's no charge, but doesn't mean that we're not going to be doing the work. We're going to be diving into the framework. You will leave that retreat feeling activated, motivated, focused, ready to claim your more. Two more truth bombs before we end this is one, your values matter. Like when you're growing a business, they have to be part of your business design. You've got to let your core values lead the way. It took me a few years before I kind of realized how important this was and now, when something feels um, off, it's because a value of mine isn't being met. So interesting. And then your final truth bomb for now is it is OK that it feels messy sometimes and that you don't always have clarity on your next move. I didn't always have clarity around my next move. I remember one of my amazing entrepreneur friends right, right at the start of my journey sending me a message after one of our catch ups. She was like, action brings clarity. And so I took it, messy, uncomfortable action. I've shared that whole journey with you. And that is when the clarity started to come. Like action brings clarity, action brings confidence. 
exactly why all of my programs are focused on getting you activated into imperfect action mode because that's how you find all your answers so you're not you won't you won't always have everything lined up and perfect like systems in place perfect clarity ducks in a row message and niche nailed right there's going to be times as you evolve and as you outgrow offers where you, you won't have all the clarity that you really want you've got to get out there you've got to experiment again i treat everything like an experiment it's made it so much easier for me to just give things a go um, again, why the main way to work with me is what I call a lab. Embrace the experiment. All right, that is a wrap. <laughs> Talk about the best self-awareness journey a girl could have put herself on. It has been all about creating a life and a business that I love. What I learned along the way is that it is really about becoming the version of you that you're proud of. And something really changes in your life when you decide that you want more, when you give yourself permission to say, I want more, when you realize that you're not prepared to settle. And thinking back to that me of six years ago when I left my relationship and my life in the UK, I am so in awe of her. But you know what? She knew that she was meant for more. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. I invite you right here, right now to decide that you are meant for more and that you are going to do everything you can to step up and claim it. I am here to help you, to support you, to cheer you on, whatever you need. If you would love to work with me, reach out. We can schedule a time to discuss. Um, but I just want to say massive love. Here's to what's coming next. Please do join me at the Meant For More online retreat. We're going to do some juicy work and I can't wait to watch you and support you in claiming your more. All right, lots of love. Thank you so much for being part of this series. It has been such a process. See ya.